Wow, that was fast, Elmer. Yep. Hey everybody, Jay here from the Muskie Shop. You know, making your own bucktails is actually very simple. We'd like to show you some of the products that you'll want to pick up to make your own. Okay, Elmer's put together a couple quick bucktails here. Same type color pattern, but you know what's really neat with this new clevis on the market? Here it is, it's on this one. There are, it's a quick change stainless steel clevis. Hey Elmer, can you show us how to change, how quick you can change blades? Sure. Actually, you just pick the bucktail up like this, bring the blade up like this, and Boom. it's off. Put yep. it back on, you just take it like this, put the blade up underneath it, and there it is. When that's on there, it's not gonna fly off, it's nope. stainless steel. Nope, so that's not coming off. You like the chartreuse, you wanna change to nickel, yep. and you wanna change a different blade type, it's that quick, it's that easy. Another thing you can do is attach two of them, Make your own double blade, double tens, whatever you want to do, whatever combination. Two clevises will work as well if you want to create a double bucktail. We've got pre-tied bodies that are ready, that are tied over a, um, a coil that go right over the shaft of the wire. These are flashaboo. We've got pre-tied bucktails. You've got silicone rubber bodies and uh, we've got marabou bodies as well, all ready to go, pre-tied, just slide it on and finish your bucktail. When you're looking to make your own bucktails, blades are key, and we've got tons and tons of blade choices. Other essential components that you will need making your own bucktails are the beads, bodies, clevises, sinkers, split rings. For those folks that like to create their own spinners that have flashaboo, we've got bulk flashaboo here in every color you can possibly think of. Like to tie your own bucktail, we've got bulk bucktail as well. We also carry pre-cut wire to make the basically the uh, the body of the bucktail different weights, thicknesses, and uh, different lengths as well. Even come with looped ends, so you got a perfectly finished end to start your bucktail with. Basic tools that you'll probably want to go with are a hook cutter, a split ring pliers to attach your hook, a round nose pliers or some sort sort of uh, wire bending tool to finish your end. And a vice grip is, come, comes in handy all the time too. If you're making your own bucktails, we've got even weighted coils, different lengths and weights. Tom's grabbing some of the new rings we've got here. We've got some black nickel coated rings. Um, a lot of people don't care for shiny rings and if that's the case, we've got the black ones here. Super strong, perfect for holding that hook. Of course, if you really want to get set up, the Boggs Tackle Maker is really nice. Here's a packaged one here. Basically, this is a wire bending tool that is bench mounted. We've got one. This is a. This one is probably. How old do you think that thing is, Elmer? 25, 30 years old? At least. Yep. They work great, especially if you're using 051 wire or less, and they will tie a perfect loop, bend a perfect loop for you. Get yourself a pack of hooks, finish that thing on the bottom end, you're all set to go.